Evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, what do you do? Oh, I'm a fire-eating lion tamer. Oh, yes, yes. I, I'm an accountant. Uh, chartered uh, accountant. Where do you, uh, where do you live? Oh, I live in a converted monastery in the Outer Hebrides. Oh, really? Very interesting, yes. Yeah. I live in Hendon. <laughs> Lovely. Is your, is your wife here tonight? No, no, no. She's in El Salvador, fighting. Oh, very brave. <laughs> very brave. Do you know Hendon at all? <sighs> I think I may have passed through it once. Oh, yes, I was being kidnapped by Russian agents. Oh, really? <laughs> Where were they taking you? Uh, they were taking me to a frigate they'd got waiting for me in the Thames estuary. Then you'd have gone down Alverston Road, past our house. <laughs> Blue door, white letter box at the bottom. Do you remember? Well, I feel I wouldn't really remember. You see, I've been pretty heavily drugged with hypertalcin metrophicane. Oh. Uh, what, what does that do? Oh, it's a knockout drug that uh, paralyzes the memory cells. Oh, does it affect the eyesight? No, oh, yes, you're totally unconscious. Oh, well, you wouldn't have seen the house anyway. <laughs> Number 37 on the corner. You must pop in sometime. Well, that's very kind of you, but uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to. I've got to go to prison. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> not in Hendon, I suppose. <laughs> no, not in Hendon. As a matter of fact, it's in Guatemala. Oh. That's just a little currency offence they picked me up for when I was out there investigating a man-eating cactus. You went all the way to Guatemala to see a cactus? Yes, it was pretty unpleasant. The tent was full of poisonous snails and I was practically trampled to death by a rogue buffalo. Just looking for a cactus. If only I met you earlier, they had a display of them in Hendon Central Library. Two whole shelves full of them. I could have lent you my ticket. Well, wouldn't there be any need for that? As a matter of fact, I'm a freeman of the City of London, so I can get in anywhere, oh. anytime. Oh, just as well, because I don't think the tickets uh, <laughs> were transferable. <laughs> you know, it's really fascinating talking to you, because it's not everyone that's interested in Hendon. <laughs> Look... I'll show you something that'll really interest you. Oh. Have you ever seen one of these before? Uh, no, no. Do you know what it is? No. It's a Tibetan prayer shawl. Oh. Any idea how I got it? No, no, I haven't. It was given to me by the chief slave girl of the commander of the Tibetan army. Oh, God, she was a beauty. Hair as black as raven's wings. One evening. Yeah? It was on the feast of Ramsidasi, the all-powerful god of light, when 10,000 cattle were sacrificed on the mountain. She crept into my room, filling it with a delightful fragrance. She cast away her tribal robe, and her dark hair spilled across her delicate, pale skin as she climbed into my bed. Really? <laughs> yes. She came from Hendon. <laughs> right. Before I declare this meeting open, I have something very serious to tell you about. Somebody has been going behind my back. So devious have they been, so underhand, and so clever, that not only do I not know who they are, I'm not quite sure what it is they've done. <laughs> Yet. But beware. I'm on my guard. Now, if Mr. Jones would read the minutes of the last meeting. <coughs> Certainly. <laughs> The, um, the minutes of the 42nd meeting of the Crawley and District Paranoid Society. <laughs> the meeting was duly convened and uh, Mr Innes gave us a very spirited talk about the holes that his next door neighbours have been drilling in his walls. <laughs> and he went on to say, Here. Yeah, Someone's been tampering with his notes. What? I'll say it, someone's been tampering with his notes. Well, look, you don't believe me, do you? Don't no, believe me! Don't 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 believe
Calm down, please. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps Mr. McGrath would like to calm us down with one of his little, little jokes. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, there was, there was these two men, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and one says to the other, who was that lady I saw you with last night? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the other fella says, You've been following me again! very <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody was staring at me maliciously. He's blaming me again! 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 He's Worry. I, I can hear. I can hear bombers. Shh. I can hear intercontinental ballistic missile. Help! 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 No. <laughs> it was my mistake. My mistake. My mistake. I, I was wrong. I think. I think now would be an appropriate time for the Reverend Palin to lead us in the club <laughs> prayer. Oh dear Lord, who cares for us, guides us, and watches over every move we make. <laughs> uh, I'll speak more quiet. <clears throat> Our Father, who's Our Father, Father who's who's got got his eye on us in heaven, hallowed be thy pseudonym. <laughs> thy kingdom come. Thy will be done behind our backs in heaven as it is on earth. <laughs> Sell us this day our daily bread. And then, and then start talking about us to the next person in the queue as soon as we've left the shop. <laughs> and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that we have a pretty shrewd idea of trespassing against us. <laughs> Amen. Meeting closed. <laughs> <laughs>